guys the Butler Kennel Rock Wallers, man. Today is a very special kind of day. Um, I'm not going to be talking about puppies right now. Um, just a quick info out there for all of my uh, followers, my listeners, and everything else. So, it's come to my attention that... Uh, people are really, really mad at Butler Kennel Rock Wallers. And they're really mad at me. Let me backtrack. People aren't mad at me. Breeders are mad at me. A lot of breeders are really, really mad at me right now. Like, mad. Boiling their skin. Um, breeders that I've never done business with, breeders that I've never spoken with, and breeders that just hate to see success. Um, I've had breeders make fake accounts and call me all types of names, you know, racial slurs and everything else. And, and all I really have to do is just really address this and just really tell y'all, everybody, that what the heck I look like I care for, right? <laughs> what do I care? You're mad, you're mad. So, honestly, this is just letting you guys know, man, listen, I don't really care, right? So, I'm just going to address this one time for my YouTube because I never did it. I did a nice, beautiful video with Mike Mongo. Um... He came out, he wanted to shoot a video, he asked me to come out. Um, he came out, shot a video, the video turned out really nice, he loved it, we loved it, people loved it. And I guess anytime you have success, man, and people just really likes it a lot. Um, uh, breeders were like, hey man, Butler Kennels is this and that and that, and he had a dog, this and that. All, everything that I discussed in my, in my interview with people, um, they hate the fact that it was such a success and people just really hate it. Um, keep saying people, breeders hated it. I read some of the comments and people were like, breeders were like, oh, don't do an interview with Mike um, with Butler Kennel, this and that. And, you know, his dogs aren't this and that. It's just so funny that people are really mad. <laughs> I have never bashed a single breeder. That I've, I've never came out and just willingly bash a breeder for no reason. I don't know. I've never talked about other breeders. You guys know when you guys call me. I don't even... When people ask me about other breeders, the first thing I tell everybody is that I don't discuss other breeders. not a big thing. Even people I know that have lied on me. But I realized one major thing, and I do realize this. Um, there are breeders that will come out there and just put their names in the groups. They put my name in the groups because it attracts attention. Um, if you want publicity and you want to stunt, call my name, mention my name, it's going to get there, right? Um, people hate that I put the best of the best. They hate it, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's a, to me, it's an accomplishment that I get under their skin that they're mad to the fact that my accomplishment bothers you. So, which means you're on the negative boat anyway. So, when... When my accomplishment bothers you, which means you're on the wrong level playing field anyway, because I'm not in competition with anybody. You know, Butler Kennels is not in competition with anybody at all, period. Butler Kennels is in competition with himself. And if you're upset that what I do and people buying dogs from me and people got to post fake, I'll put it like this. <laughs> Today I was laughing. I read some of these comments. I'm just laughing, responding back. Um, I'll put it like this. People would use the breeders would use the words people, they, them, and everything else, but never say who they are. And let me put it like this: fifteen years of breeding, fifteen years. I don't understand this. When you do the math of fifteen years and so many people you've dealt with, there's never going to be a business that's been in business for fifteen years, and one person don't feel like they didn't get what they wanted. Fifteen years. If 15 years happens and you have 10 people that are unhappy, you're doing awesome, like awesomeness. Um, can I say there's been unsatisfied people somewhere in 15 years? Yeah, I would think so. Um, 
But it's funny that those same people that were so satisfied and happy are breeders now get on a bandwagon with other people and you mentioned money, a free money giveaway and then they come out the woodworks, right? But proof is saying that yes, we're very happy. But they don't say they're unhappy with the dog. Let me get that squared away. They're not happy with the dog. They're not unhappy with the dog, anything else. Um, they can't with this, how it happened. I don't, I don't even know. So who cares, right? But I want you guys to really understand something really, really important, man. That if you are going to if you're gonna have a business and for 15 years they may count three people that are unsatisfied, let's hell go with four, right? Let's say let's say five. I don't know, five. Let's say five. And you have five unsatisfied clients, but people keep saying people, people in them, they can't tell you the names and fake accounts. Um <laughs> why? <laughs> Man, we've been having a discussion today. Sorry, don't mind me, man. It's just, uh, it's cold as crap. You got, I'm in, man, it is freezing cold um, as well. Um, first thing is, man, I mean, it's, it's really, it's really, it's funny, but it's saddening at the same time to find that people really hate me that I don't even, I've never spoken with. And they're like, ah, oh, we got his paperwork and he don't test and, he don't. And you know what? People always say, why don't you ever just shut them up and show your proof? Clients that have came to me and bought dogs and said, he's showing the dog, he's showing this. Um, you know, I don't have a single client yet in 15 years that have said, I asked this guy for paperwork and he hasn't produced the paperwork. Never. I mean, so then breeders start saying things about me constantly over and over and hopefully, let's hopefully it sticks. But I must say one major thing, man, and I gotta, I gotta love you guys for this. You guys have been Man, supportive, blessings, and just the page is growing more. My Facebook page grew, blew up. My YouTube page blew up. My Instagram page is blowing up. And it's just the fact that not even about, people understand this. I don't care about being big. Just concentrate on being the best. And when you understand the best of the best, man, they hate that. You know what I mean? So to everybody that's watching this video right now, man, whatever it is that you do, you're a breeder or in your job and you kind of go for promotion and you're just not happy where you are don't let other people dictate who you are and where you want to go if i listen to other people and breeders and anybody else that didn't do anything for me um you know they didn't buy my dogs they didn't they don't take care of my dogs yeah, they don't feed me they don't finance me these other people that's talking stuff about me don't support me and nothing else so why would you give that energy to them so but my energy is now going toward my supporters and everybody else oh my man it's cold as man i'm telling you i got my army jacket on you know my old army jacket days butler um they speaking of this they said i wasn't ever in the army <laughs> I do with it. Oh no. Um. It was on me somewhere. Oh, it's in the house, I guess. My whole military and everything else on there and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, it don't even matter. But they said I wasn't even in the army, so you can't. I mean, people have made fake pages about me. Um, do I follow the page or talk about me? No. I, don't even, I laugh, man. People share me stuff like, hey, I don't even care to see it. Doesn't matter because it's such, a, it's it's hilariously funny. But um, I put it like this: when you're so focused on, like, if I'm focused on this way, I don't have time to worry about what this man over here is doing. The only time my vision is gonna be blurred from over here is because I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing and I'm seeing what this person is doing and I'm looking at them, trying to follow them. So when breeders are talking to you about me. You got to stop and ask yourself, if you're a breeder and concentrate on what you're doing, why are you so much concerned on what Butler Kennels is doing? And all that's going to do for you is tell you this. And they're going to come up with the, oh, we want to stop you from getting scammed in 15 years. And nobody's saying they're being scammed except for breeders telling other people he's scammed. Clients are, you watch my videos. And if any, let me make something very, very clear. Mike Mongo did a video, and his videos are, are really nice. He did the drones and all that stuff, professional cameras and everything else. I don't do that. I'm a different type of breeder. I'm a different type of person. I don't, 
I'm not about the shabazz and the glams and all this stuff here. But what I am about is the quality of information I give you guys. I'm using the camera phone. I'm not gonna lie, my, this video is not gonna be as clear as other people's videos, but my information is clearer than anybody else has ever given it to you. No other breeders. When these breeders talk to you guys about Butler Kennels or anybody else, just ask yourself, how many other breeders are willing to go into their office, into dog breeding, having puppies, clients, unedited videos. My videos are unedited. I don't even cut, paste, paste this in. No, my videos are one take cut. Look how many people come to my page and look how people come to my house and sit there. They see everything. There's no, you can't come here. You can't, you're not allowed to go over here. When people come to my house, they feel welcome. They feel love. They, they get that stuff. You know, when they speak on the couch, the transaction is already done. They can say what they want to say. They got their dog already. They are loved. They are happy. Um, it's no editing in the video and nothing against people who edit videos and nothing else. I mean, shoot, Mongo had to edit some of the videos it was so long. He had to cut some of the videos out and that's totally fine. I, I'm, I don't have anything against them. And people who do videos like that, it's very beautiful videos that comes out awesome. I mean, I stand behind it. The way I do my videos is just for me. And you know, I want you to see that raw uncut footage, that stuff that nobody else wants you to see. You're going to see the dirty kennels. You're going to see, um, you know, Dogs playing around, dirty dogs. You're gonna see dogs with slobber. You're gonna see the cows. You're gonna see the chickens. You're gonna see the yard, the four wheelers, and and the dirt, and just grinding the putting the kennels up and making it and everything else. The cold, the 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 real me. You know, not getting all professional. With the, I gotta oh, let me make the stuff. No man, this is just me. Hat backwards. You know when you see the hat backwards, you know what it is. Um. Only time the hat's really forward is when you see the Butler Kings logo, really, that's it. But um, I got the Falcons hat on now. But just, <laughs> I can't tell you guys how much, anyway, this thing means to me to really see you guys support me, man. And, you know, really, truly means the world to me that you guys are willing to sit there and watch these videos that I produce for you guys. And when I make these videos, man, I just think about what my viewers want to see, what you guys want to hear, what you guys want the details and everything else. So I'm giving you the, giving you through my eyes and what I see. Um, you know, most importantly, everything else is more important, man, is that it's not about dog sales. It's not about, it's not about any, it's about you, man, as an individual, the person. Then it becomes about the dogs. You know, then it becomes about a unity between the two. So, you know, I, I really can't give you guys enough, man, and tell you guys enough how much I, I'm grateful for each and every last one of you guys and how much you guys have truly warmed my heart, man, and my family's heart to be where we are today. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I mean, for my dreams to come true and do exactly what I want to do, which is this right here, I'm so blessed. And the reason why I'm blessed is because God has ordained this for me. I prayed about this, you know what I mean? And that's the difference between me and a lot of other breeders. I've prayed about this day happening. I've envisioned it since I was a kid, having multiple dogs and the kennels and all this stuff and not, you know, and not never having to go against anybody else to get to where I'm at, overstep on anybody. I sleep well at night knowing that every person I've dealt with or tried to dealt with it has been in a positive way. Look how the reaction between people who leave comments of saying, hey man, I've been in interaction with Butler Kennels and he's done X, Y, Z. I'm not about trying to expose what I do for people. That's not me. Uh, if they say about it, that's cool, you know, but my thing about it, if I help someone, that's between me and that person, that's all. And my glory gets from seeing the, seeing the help on that person, just, just, just seeing the effects of my help on that person makes me feel great. So, um, this is my personal video, man. It's, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's like what, 10, 11 o'clock at night. I don't know. Whatever. I'm doing dogs, man. Like I said, I'm outside, uh, bad pain in my neck. Um. Something very special happened tonight, too, as well, which you will find out later. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but, uh, man, heck, what I tell you guys, man? We just had a breeding happen tonight. I'm not going to say who it is. That litter's already sold out, by the way, and that's another thing. People have said his dogs aren't sold out, this and that, man. My dogs are sold out before they're even bred, right? So, so you guys, please understand, if you want a dog from me, there's a reason there's a waiting list. I don't even advertise litters anymore. I don't even advertise litters and tell people come buy a dog, which dog is what and everything else. You know why? Because number one, they're already sold out. Number two, um, I'm not trying to sell you. I'm not trying to just 
get the dog. My thing about it is educating you guys the best and getting you guys the best of what I have and giving you guys the best of the best. Um, you know, so man, like I'm just I got so much stuff that I gotta give you guys, but I gotta break it down in piece and piece and piece and stuff like this. So anyway, hope you guys love this introduction that I have on this video. It's gonna be the first time I play this introduction right here, right now. I'm gonna edit and put it on this one. Well, editing not the video, but editing the front part and the back part of it so you can see it. But this video is uncut, unraw, raw, uncut, and you're gonna get the way it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's cold. So thank you guys, man, for watching, and thank you guys for hearing a 15-minute spur about you know what we do here, why they're mad, they're angry, they're gonna get mad at Butler Kennels, and I'm tell you what, if they're mad now, 2021 gonna have them heated, boiling. We gonna have them boiling, you guys, man. So let's rock with it, man. Let's get it, and let's uh, let's you know, 2021, we got so much stuff bad in the world right now. It's time for some positivity, man. Like. I mean, there's so much racial stuff going on in the world right now. It's been called racial names and slurs and all this kind of stuff and everything else. And people understand, man, I got a built-in armor in me that that stuff reflects off of, man. It doesn't even get to me. I sleep well at night. Um, there's people that are just mad because of what the success you will do in life. And if that's the case, I don't care what you're dealing with personally in your life. If you got people mad at you in your life, your family, your friends, and so-called friends and co-workers are mad at you because of what you're doing, you believe in what you're doing, keep doing it. To get to the top, people are going to be mad at you. And sometimes you got to elevate yourself. And those that got you elevating you, looking up at you, and you're elevating. Just don't forget where you came from. That's the biggest thing. You know, Always humble yourself and know where you came from. But nothing wrong with, with getting to the top and being the best of what you can be. So on that note, like I tell you every single time, man, be good, treat each other right, and be blessed. We out. Boom.